liberal topics, but you don't understand, you don't know. You didn't choose a topic. Okay, violence, go ahead. Violence in Islam. It's something that, that uh, you people are good at. So the topic Islam is what? Violence in Islam, yeah? Yeah, violence no, no, no. in Islam. It, no. And you can talk about Christianity. Uh, violence in the Quran or in the Bible. In Islam. In Islam. Without Quran, it's like Islam. Without Quran. And Hadith the is Quran. involved as well. The Quran. Hadith the is involved. Go, 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 go yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so and two the minutes each. Yeah. I'm yeah. the timekeeper. I'll keep an eye on it. So who wants to start? I, I'll topic, start. I'll start. Bog the builder run away from you. Okay. They are in the debate. No, 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 no one run away from you, you, sir. My friend, it's on you. You get YouTube. I said, let's do this. No, no, no. Let's debate. Look, look. Bob the Builder. No, Bob the Builder. It's on YouTube. No, no, no. Every time you've been destroyed. What are you talking about? Can we just debate? Forget about what happened on YouTube. Let's just debate. Let's just debate with Bob the Builder. Run away. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's on YouTube. Why don't you go? Are you going to start? Are you going to start? When you finish. Are you going to start? When you finish, I'll show you why Bob the Builder. Two minutes, yeah? I'll show you. As I'll show you one of the things. Forget that. Forget that. Go, go, go. Mohamed Lamin. Are you ready? Yeah? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. We're going to talk about... No interruption. <laughs> no interruption. Islamic Dawah team, do not heckle. We're going to talk about... Dawah team, no interruption. We're going to talk about violence in Islam. He can refute me on anything he wants. And he can bring up violence in Christianity. That's fine. I can respond to it. So, as a Christian, I've read the Quran. I believe the Quran commands Muslims, I'll be very specific, Muslims to wage war against disbelievers. And I'm going to quote Quran and Hadith and Tafsir. So it's not me creating it, it's actually your Quran, your Hadith and your Tafsir. So Muslims in the West are very quick to point to the passages like Surah 9, 1 6 where it says you shall have your religion and i shall have my religion and then 200 and surah 2 256 says there is no compulsion in religion they're very quick to quote these verses whenever there is a terrorist attack under the name of islam but let's see what islam really teaches about violence surah 9 5 says slay the idolaters wherever you find them Surah 929 says, fight those who do not believe in Allah. Now, watch this. It says, fight those who do not believe in Allah. It's not talking about war. It's talking about people who don't believe in Allah. That's in the Quran, Surah 929. So you've got to explain that. And then there is Surah 2106 and Surah 216101, where it says, Whatever, wor whatever verse we shall abrogate or cause to forget, we will bring better than it or one like it. And then Surah 16, 101 says, when we substitute one revelation for one another, and God knows best what he reveals, they shall thou art but forger, but most of them understand not. So according to the Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Surah 9, which is a fighting verse, is the last verse to be reviewed. And I'm going to show you Tafsir and Hadith in my next segment. Now, today's debate is about violence in Islam or in, or in the Quran or in the Bible. Now, he's quoting some verses. Before I go on to the Bible, which Daniel will be shocked. I'm going to refute this verse quoting. Quran has got verses in the Quran. There are verses in the Quran. We talk about fighting and killing. But every single verse in the Quran is talking about when the Muslims were fighting their enemies in the past. The enemies that persecuted them. There is nowhere in the Quran, no single verse in the Quran, which is commanding the Muslims to go and kill innocent non-combatants. Every single verse in the Quran, I'm going to rebut them, is talking about the fight in the past. You understand? Because the Quran, if you read the God's Quran, Allah Subhanahu said the Quran, in the Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 190, fight in the way of Allah those who fight against you. Listen, fight in the way of Allah those who fight against you, but do not transgress. Verily, Allah does not, does not like transgressors. Nowhere. No Muslim would come and tell me that I've been ordered to go and kill a, a, a non-Muslim 
Muslims or, or uh, non-combatants. What okay. ISIS are doing, what Boko Haram are doing, all mm -hmm. the other groups, they are not representing Islam. Send me the verse in the Quran. If you read the word of the Quran, it is it's mentioned in Surah Al-Maida, chapter 5, verse number 2. It says that if anyone seconds. saves a human soul, it is as if you have saved the whole of mankind. And if you yeah, kill a soul, it is as if you have killed the whole of mankind. Mm. You understand? So, what time is it? What about it? Zero, 15, 15 seconds. seconds. 15 seconds. So, the verse is quoted now. He's quoting. All those verses are talking about when the Muslims are fighting their enemies in the past. And if you read the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah al mumtahana chapter 60, verse number 8. It says, Allah, says, Allah doesn't prohibit you time. from showing kindness and being just time. with time. those time. who do not time. fight you. Time, 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 time. So, it's very interesting. Muhammad Lamin, yeah, he hasn't responded to Surah 929, which says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. He hasn't responded to Surah 95, where it says, slay the idolaters wherever you find them. He quoted, this is his quotes. He quoted Surah 532, where it says, if you kill one person, it's like as if you're killing all of humanity. Can we read the verse and really, really expose you here that this verse has today. nothing to do with Muslims. Watch this. It's coming. It's coming. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Self-control. Surah 532. This is what he quoted. This is why it says, Surah 532. This is why we decreed for the children of Israel. So this has got nothing to do to Muslims. It's for the children of Israel. And this ayah is found in the Talmud. Surah 532. It says, for the children of Israel, that whoever kills a soul without manslaughter or corruption on the earth is as though he has killed all mankind. Guess what? Theresa May quotes this and she doesn't know anything because of these kind of Muslims who lie, who lie. So what does the next verse say? Surah 533 says, Indeed, the requital of those who wage war against Allah. So this is for Muslims and his apostle, which is Muhammad, and try to cause corruption on the earth is that they shall be slain or crucified or their hands and feet cut off. Why don't you quote that? You conveniently avoided Surah 533, but you quoted Surah 532, where it's got to do with the children of Israel. On my next segment, I'm going to show Sahih al-Bukhari and more of the Quran. I'll okay. give it to you. I think I'm going to go to the Bible now. I'm going to go to the Quran long time ago. He's go to the Quran. Now, let's go to the Bible. The Bible here, this Bible is not critically angelic. There is no violence in this Bible than any scripture on the earth. For example, let's go to the Bible. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Numbers, chapter number 31, verses number 17 to 18. Therefore go, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has known man intimately. But all the girls who are virgins, spare for yourselves. This is the Bible. For the Bible, read the Bible, it is mentioned in in the first Samuel, chapter number 15, verse number 2, here God is talking, verse number 3, Samuel 15, 3 says that, go, attack the people of Amalekites, and totally destroy everything that belongs to them. Show no mercy, kill men and women, children and infants, cattle, sheep and donkeys. That's in the Bible. You will never find such a thing in the Quran. Never. You read the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse number 2. God said, I will gather all nations against Jerusalem. The city shall be taken, the house is rifled, and the woman raped. Women raped, so in the Bible. I will gather all nations against Jerusalem. The city shall be taken, the house is rifled, and the woman raped. For the Bible, in the book of Hosea, 30 seconds. Chapter, in the book of Hosea, chapter number. 13 verse number 16, God said, the people of Samaria have run against their God, they have got their God, they shall fall by the sword, their little ones will die to the ground, they are pregnant women, ripped open in your Bible. God is ordering killing in the Bible, children, so in the Quran, and pregnant women, ripped them open. A massive oh, God will do that. Will he do that? Show me in the Quran, which is going that far. All the verses quoted about all the Muslims who are fighting the enemy in the past. Time, time.
Don't run away after you. Today, you learn you what ask. is in the Bible. Okay. You all. Okay. Go. Can I go? Yeah. Go, go, go. Okay. It's very, very interesting. Pretty much every Muslim that I debate, they passionately rant and they have nothing to rant about. This guy's ranting for nothing. So, I've given Surah 9 29. Surah 9 5. And I'm going to give you the hadith and I'm going to give you Ibn Kathir. However, this guy quoted the Old Testament. We as Christians, and I want you Muslims to listen carefully, we as Christians do not deny there were violences in the Old Testament. I'll pause this so it gets into your head. We as Christians don't, con um, don't deny that. However, our scriptures, yeah, they go from violence to peace. Jesus Christ, when he came on earth, he said, love those who persecute you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. He said, love your enemies. So I challenge Muhammad Lamin to show me, me as a Christian, where I've been commanded to fight anybody from the scripture. I follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ clearly said, love those who despitefully use you. You quoted Samuel 15, 3, Zechariah 14, 2, Numbers 21, 11, or 1. Do you see any Amalekites here? I guess you don't. Do you see any Amalekites here? No. Israelites here? No. So, the Old Testament, the violence is there. But it's got nothing to do with us. It was for the time at that time. Now, the New Testament, the New Testament is for us. In Matthew chapter 5, where Jesus came to fulfill the law, not to break it, to fulfill the law. How did he fulfill it? Through love and peace, not violence. So I'm going to show you the Quran next. You hear that? This man hasn't read his Bible. Okay. Yeah, the Prince of Peace, I'll tell you what the Prince of Peace, Prince of Peace said in the Bible, mm -hmm. in the New Testament. No, I'll give you your attention. Finished. Prince of Peace. Let me tell you what Jesus said. If you read the Bible, in the Gospel of, uh, in, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse it's number 34 to 35. I know you're Think not that I have come to bring get, peace on earth. You're going to get exposed. I have not to come to bring peace, but a sword. But, I, but I, for I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. For in the Bible. You have read your Bible. It is mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 12, verse number 51. Do you think that I have come to bring peace on earth? No, but I tell you, rather division. Peace of peace, you said that? New Testament. New Testament, oh, for in the Bible, Jesus said, in the Gospel of uh, Luke, again, chapter number 12, verse number 49. I have come to bring fire on earth, and how I wish it were only kindled. Peace of peace, you want to hear more? Gospel of Luke again. Gospel of Luke, so in Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, verse number 26, Jesus said that if anyone comes to me, and does not hate his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters. Yes, and he did his own life. He cannot be my disciple. Peace of peace. You want more? Read your Bible, man. Answer them for me. All in the New Testament. Now answer them for me. One, one more. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You read the Bible again. Gospel of, uh, uh, same Gospel of Matthew. Gospel of Luke, sorry. Chapter number. Uh, Chapter number 19, verse number 27. Jesus said, And these enemies of mine who did not want me to reign, uh, reign over them, bring them there and slay them before me. Time. In the time, New time, Testament. time, 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 time. So let's quickly, about nonsense about let's quickly expose what he talks about the Bible, and I'm going to give hadith All and Quran. In the New Testament. Wait. Rebut that no first. Interruption. Can you not interrupt, please? Matthew chapter 10, he quoted it. Let's read it from 32 to 36. Whoever acknowledges me before men, I will also acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before men, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. Do not suppose I have come to bring peace to the earth. I do not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to turn. Watch the sword. It's got nothing to do like Muhammad, who had the real sword. Don't interrupt. This has to do with a different kind of sword. Listen to the sword. I have come to set a man against his father. A daughter against his mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, 
a man, a man's enemies will be the members of his own household. So the enemies are the ones who don't believe. They're enemies to us. They're the soul to us. We don't fight anybody, sir. We don't fight anybody. We love them because Jesus commanded us and he told us they don't believe in me, so they become the sword. So now let's quote what the Quran and the Hadith says. Very, very clear. This is what it says. Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Go on, go on, let's continue. No, no, no continue we're doing okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Why is that always so, every Sunday that, that the fire in this place? You forget the okay. God the Father. Okay. No, no, sir, no okay. interruption. Okay, okay, okay. don't interrupt. Last this, time this, this, is, this, okay, is, no. this is violence. I don't know where it's coming from. Let's forget about it. Here is what Muhammad said. Let's concentrate here. Your prophet, this is what Muhammad said. Sahih al-Bukhari 69.24. Muhammad said, I have been ordered to fight till the people say none has the right to be worshipped by Allah and whoever say la ilaha illallah, I will save his property. Sahih Muslim 30. Muhammad said, I've been ordered, I've been commanded to fight against those as long as they don't declare there's no God but Allah. So if you believe Muhammad is the best example, if you, if you believe that you follow Muhammad, why are you not fighting the way he's fighting? You're supposed to follow Muhammad to the letter. Fight the way Muhammad fights. Time, time, time. You see this man here? He's time here. He, he posted here. This man here is very disingenuous. You see, very disingenuous. They said that they follow the, they follow the New Testament, not the Old Testament. What did Jesus say about Old Testament? You see, I know these people need to go and read their Bible. You come here to debate with people, you haven't read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Jesus said that thing that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I come I'm to abolish them to fulfill them. For I tell you, till heaven has passed away, not an iota, not a dust shall pass from the law until all are accomplished. Mm -hmm. You have to bring in a uh, work. Is it that you don't bring the Old Testament? Mm -hmm. Because Paul is telling you, you are following Paul. Paul is saying, don't bring the law. You don't, that's why you don't believe the Old Testament. Paul is the founder of Christianity. That is why. So when you go, go, go back to the Bible, the violence in the Bible. Now, I'll finish that. I'm going to go on. Let's go to the next verse. This, uh, if you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 20, verse number 10 to 14. Here, God said that when you go to war, as you are, as you are, prepared, to fight, as you are prepared to attack a town, first, give its people stand for peace. If, you, if they accept your terms, I open the gates to you. All the people inside will serve in forced labor. labor. But if they refuse to make peace and prepare to fight, yeah, fight that town. Kill every male in the town. But, but you make it for yourselves, all the women, children, livestock and plunder. You may enjoy the spoils of your enemies. That's what the Bible said. Another violence in the Bible. Viol Bible, is, Bible is the pretty violence. I wish these people read their Bible and understand it. Then that, they will stop the attacking Islam. Contents. There is not a single yeah. verse in the Quran which is commanding a Muslim to go and attack non-Muslims or non-combatants. The only verse you're talking about is about when the Muslims were fighting their enemies in the past. The enemies that persecuted them. Ten seconds. You understand? Ten seconds, Gordon. No, 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 wait, 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 let's talk about what Jesus said. I will in the Bible, intolerance, no, he's got time. No, 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 wait, hello, hello, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm just telling you, Jesus came to fulfill the law, how did he fulfill it? This topic is about violence, let's talk what Jesus said about violence. Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. You have heard it that it was said to the people long ago, do not murder. And anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother without a cause will be subject to judgment. So it's got, he's, he told us even if you're angry, not, not hitting him, even if you're angry, you'll be subject, subject to judgment. So Jesus is telling us, he quoted Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, but he leaves Matthew chapter 5 verses 20 to 48 where he shows us how he fulfills the law that was about murder he tells us about adultery he tells us about divorce he tells us about the oaths jesus never told us to fight in fact in matthew chapter 27 i guess i'll get it later when peter took out the sword to cut the ear of the servant who was coming to take jesus what did jesus say don't 
those who fight by the sword will, buy the, by, uh, will die by the sword. And then Jesus said, he healed the guy's ear. His name is Malchukas. He healed his ear and he did not fight. He surrendered. He got crucified, resurrected on the third day, conquered death. But what does your Quran say? This guy is not responding to what the Quran says. He said, this is for that time. So if it's for that time, can you respond to it one by one, please? Listen what Ibn Kathir said. Therefore, all people of the world should be called Islam. I think Muslims have no problem with that. If any one of them refuse to do so or refuse to pay jizya, they should be fought till they are killed. That is Ibn Kathir, part two, Surah Al Baqarah, two, two fifty three to two eighty six. Time. Bam. Okay. Answer that. I've told this man here not a single verse you can tell him the Quran where Allah is commanding the Muslims to go and kill non-Muslims. It's not there. You understand? <laughs> Let's go to the Hadith now. It's not there. That's the thing. Oh. I've told you the the, 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 the the God of the Old Testament. Is it not the same as the God of the New Testament? The God is ordering killing innocent women, children, infants and babies. It's in the Bible. You understand? So let's go to the hadith now and tell you the Rasulullah Islam himself said in the hadith, if you read the hadith, it mentioned in Sayyid al-Bukhari, volume number nine, hadith number 6871, that the biggest of Al-Kabair, that the great sins are three. One of them is to murder a human being. Check it out. Sayyid okay. al-Bukhari, okay. volume number nine, hadith number 6871. You're not, you're not the biggest of great sins, one of them is to murder a human being. Innocent human being. If this were the command of the USA is true, you see Muslims everywhere killing people. There are how many million? One point something million people are in the in the UK. How many of them going down and killing innocent people? I would have done it. But it's not a command of God. These verses were there in the past. Read the Quran, understand it. Just like he said in the Old Testament, you know you acknowledge it. That the violence in there, but it's in the past. Why can't you agree with the Muslims? That the verse you're quoting about is in the past as well. Allah subhanahu wa commanded, accept it. I accept it. I accept that those verses in the past, in the Old Testament, you believe in it. Why can't you accept the Quran? The same thing. That means that you are disingenuous. You are not genuine. I accept it. And those violence are too bad, too egregious. Even Jay Smith said, he said, I agree with the Muslims. The Quran, I'm even ashamed. It's seconds. on YouTube. I'm ashamed that the Quran, the Bible, has got too much violence. And it's good. But you accept that. But the fact that the Quran, which the Muslims are defending themselves, you have a problem time, with that. Time. You are not okay, genuine. Time, okay, okay. Time. Thank you very much for throwing the Quran under the bus. You're saying this is in the past. I've read you Surah 9, and you're telling me Surah 9 is irrelevant for now. That's what you're saying. Let's read Surah 9 again, verses 1, 1, 1. This is what it says. Indeed, Allah has bought from the faithful if you're a faithful guy, if you believe in Allah, he's, this is what he's saying to you. Indeed, Allah has bought from the faithful their souls and their possessions for paradise to be theirs. They fight in the way of Allah. They are killed and are killed. This is Surah 9, 1, 1, 1. If you're telling me this Surah has nothing to do with now, then you're throwing Surah 9 under the bus. Look at what Muhammad said in Sahih al-Bukhari 4364 about Surah 9. Surah 9, this is what it says. It was the last complete Surah, Surah 9, which explains wait, wait, the wait, reason, wait, wait, calm down. The whole chapter, Surah 9, is the last one to be revealed, which, which explains the reason why Islam is here to be violent against unbelievers as the final marching orders are to fight and subjugate people. Sahih al-Bukhari 4364. That is what he's saying in Sahih al-Bukhari. Wait, I haven't finished it. 30 seconds left. Surah 929, it says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Not fight those who are fighting you. Fight those who don't believe in Allah. Surah 973, it says, strive hard against those Hypocrites and unbelievers wage jihad. 
and then I just read to you the only way you can get to paradise is by killing people. So you're a disobedient Muslim. The ones that are obeying uh, Allah, they are the ones killing people. You see, this guy here is quoting the Quran out of context. Surah 9-5, read Surah 9-6, let's see. Surah 9-6, even in times of war, I told you all these verses, Look, you accept, you told us that divine verses are quoted from the Bible. Oh In the Old Testament, we acknowledge, we accept it. Now I'm telling you, these verses are talking about the past. You are denying it. Even Surah 9, Surah at Tauba, all the verses in the Quran has got Bismillah Rahman Rahim, the name of Allah, the most gracious, the merciful. The only verse that hasn't got that one is Surah at Tauba, Surah number 9. Because the Muslims here, there, Allah gave. They are uh, the, 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 the disbelievers uh, an ultimatum in there. And Surah 9 5, go to Surah 9 6. What is Surah 9 6? Surah 9 5 talking about killing. Surah 9 6 said in the battlefield, he said, When the disbelievers seek your protection, grant them protection so that they may hear the words of Allah, the Quran, and they escort them to a place where they can be secure. The Quran is commanding the Muslim soldiers in the past. That when they were fighting in the battlefield, even enemies are killing them. If an enemy wants protection, grant them protection. And they escort them to a place of security. You will never find that in the Bible, in any scripture. Your enemies are killing you, and they say, oh, I, I, you know, I surrender. It's not there. That's in the Quran. Surah 9 5, you quote it, 9 6, put in the context. That's why it's telling you, this verse I'm talking about, yeah, when the Muslims seconds. are talking there, find the enemies. You, you acknowledge that Old Testament has got fighting violence. We have no problem, no problem with that. But we are telling you, the past in the Quran, it's in the past. Why have you got a problem with that? That God is ordering killing, killing innocent women, children, infants in the Bible. You accept that, a merciful God. And the Bible said, God said grace is not merciful. It's in there. In the book of Job, chapter, chapter number 2, verse number 13. And God is time, gracious and merciful. Time, full of time. time. Let's expose this guy. Yes. Let's expose him again. He said, quote Surah 9-6. I'm going to quote 5 and 6. Listen, Muhammad Lamin. Muhammad Lamin, stop my time. You need to listen. Okay, your video is not working. All right, cool. No problem. The memory is done. No, it's still working. Okay. Surah 9, 5 and 6. I'm going to read it. However, he said this is in the battlefield. Let's see if the surah says it's in the battlefield. Let's see. Or if he's creating his own surah. Surah 9.5. Then when the sacred months have passed, kill the polytheists wherever you find them. Capture them and besiege them and lie in wait for them at every ambush. But if they repent, this has to do with their faith. It's got nothing to do with battle. And maintain the prayer and give the zakat and let them alone. Indeed, Allah is forgiven, all merciful. Now, Surah 9, 6 says, he said this is in the battlefield. Let's see if this is the battlefield. If any one of the polytheists seek asylum from you, grant him asylum until he hears, he hears the word of Allah, then convey him a place of safety. Where does it say in Surah 9, 5 and 6, where does it say this is in the battlefield? Sorry. You need to show me that. Don't heckle. Don't heckle. Answer in your own time. Stop my time. Stop my time. He just read it. He's Stop denying it on the spot. Stop my time. time. Sorry. My friend, no. the Stop. rules are I didn't heckle you. you. I didn't heckle you. I didn't heckle you. Heckle. I did not heckle you. I did not heckle you. Can I read it? No, I didn't finish. Sorry, sorry. But you just heckled it. What's going on? I didn't heckle you in your time. Listen. Listen. He said, Surah 9 6 says, This is. In the battlefield, show me the words in Surah 9 6 where it says this is in the battlefield. It doesn't. It says if you find any polytheists in Surah 5, capture them and kill them. And Surah 9 6 says any polytheist seeks asylum from you, grant him asylum until he hears the word of Allah. Nothing to do with battlefield, but it has to do with your faith in Allah. If I don't believe in Allah, you're supposed to kill me. My friend, He can't handle it, that's why he's heckling. Surah 9 6 does not say battlefield, stop lying. Surah 9 5 does not say battlefield, stop lying. Time. This guy here read, read, read the Bible, read the verse, and denied it. The surah I said to like this is the surah you're talking about, yeah. When the Muslims are fighting their enemies in the past. Their enemies. Tell me this verse you talk about today. Can you read it? 
it's not there. Okay. Now, let's go to Surah Al-Anfal. Uh, Surah Al-Anfal. Al no, read it, read it. Fal, chapter number 8, verse number 61. Oh, if you're any enemy, if the enemy inclines to peace, then incline to it also and rely upon Allah. Verily, it is he who is the hearing, the knowing. This is in wow. the battlefield. Oh. Wow. No way, you can't tell me. Man. You know, there's not a single verse in the Quran wow. which is commanding the Muslim to go and kill today. Non-Muslims. Oh, you are a head preacher. You have been trained by Jay. Oh, I saw yeah, your yeah, verses yeah, from the yeah, Bible. Yeah. Violent verses upon violent verses. Where God is the... Sorry, sir. You believe in it? Yeah? You believe in this verse? I don't know. Let me, let me, I don't This, I don't know. If you read the Bible, it is mentioned in the book of Ezekiel. Book of Ezekiel, chapter number 9, verse number 5, 5 to 7. It said, and I, and, hear the, and I hear the Lord say to other men, follow him through the city and kill everyone whose forehead is not mad. So no mercy, have no pity. Kill them all, men and women, girls and wo girls and cattle and sheep. Yeah? But do not touch anyone with a mark. Begin sad. right here at the temple. So they began by killing the 70 leaders. Defy the temple, the Lord commanded. Fill his courtyard with the bodies, bodies of those you kill. Go! So they went through the city and did as they were told. Violence upon violence in the Bible, in the Old Testament. When you accept it, say, yeah, we accept that. It's, but it's God. Now we are telling you, Ten the fighting in the Quran is in the past. And you have a problem with it. What problem it's have you got with it? We're gonna, we're gonna wrap up. Alright, All right, time. time. Is it, is it we're time? gonna wrap up don't, don't, very, very soon. No, no, don't time is that. sticking, don't I need to go. Don't go. Listen, don't wrap up. this guy, to actually refute Surah 9.5 and Surah 9.6, he went to Surah 61. That's embarrassing, sir. That's very no. much embarrassing. Sur Sur Stop heckling. Stop, my time. Stop heckling, please. I didn't heckle you. Surah 9.5, he told me to read Surah 9.6. It does not set out for one last time, I'm gonna repeat it. It does not say battlefield. It doesn't. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll say it again. That's good. Surah 9, 5 and 6. For the last time, I'm going to read it. Yeah? Muslims watching and Muslims listening here, if you hear me say battlefield, stop me. Surah 9, 5. Then when the sacred months have passed, kill the poly polytheist, wherever you find them, capture them, besiege them, and lie in wait for them at every ambush. But if they repent and maintain the prayer and give zakat, let them alone. Indeed, Allah is all forgiving, all merciful. Surah 9, 6. If any of the polytheists seeks asylum from you, grant him asylum until he hears the word of Allah, then convey him to his place of safety. That is because they are the people who do not know. Muslims, why didn't you stop me? Because I did not say battlefield. Surah 9, 5, Surah 9, 6, don't say battlefield. It's got to do with my faith. Because it's got to do because I don't believe. Stop, stop heckling. Stop, stop the time. Time. From the beginning, the talking time. about Again, about no, Muslims heckling because they cannot handle the it. No, no, no. They cannot no, handle no, no. it. Let them debate. Let's not heckle. Okay, start my time. Stop. Muhammad Lamina claims Surah 9, 5 and Surah 9, 6 has to do with battlefield. It hasn't. It does not say. It's got to do with my faith in Allah. If I don't believe in Allah, kill him. Ish. I've still got 15 seconds left. So stop lying to the people. Tell the truth about what your Quran says. Repent and accept Jesus Christ. There is no violence. Command it to Christianity, only peace. Time. By the way, you finish and I'm going to finish. Conclude. No, the time is gone. Time is gone too. We didn't agree half an hour. It's been half an hour. Yeah. So you conclude. Conclude now and I'm going to conclude. It is ingenious. Okay, I've started the time. Every week they come here, just attack, attack, attack. They haven't even read the Quran. He a court verses from the violent verses. God ordered the killing of innocent women, children, even uh, uh, babies, smash them on the floor. Pregnant women, ripping their stomach open. He accept that a merciful God will do that. No problem. Yeah, it's in the Old Testament. It's all right, we agree with it. I said to him, the Quran has got fought in there. All those who are in the past, when the Muslims were fighting their enemies. He's got a problem with that. This is the thing. They come here every week, attack, Islam, attack. But in the Bible, they don't even believe in their Bible. They want, yeah, the Bible, let me finish. The Bible, they don't believe in the Bible. They haven't read the whole Bible. This is the problem. You see? Hypocrite. Every week, they're hypocrites. Jay trained them, Jay Smith. Go and check the video of Jay. Jay Smith. It's all about attack, attack, attack. That's it. Islam is a peaceful religion. I will tell them, Jesus, 
who's a Muslim? He submitted a human to God. They are worshiping a man who never said he's God, who never worshiped me. They will never talk about the wonders of God. Only attack Islam. Islam is violent. It's this and this and this. Your, your, your prophet married a, a, a young. Oh, that's what they do, attack. But they cannot defend. You understand? They said Jesus is God. We said Jesus is only a man, a prophet, sent to the Messiah. Jesus himself said, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house. That's right. Muhammad is the only prophet who has been sent to the whole of mankind. Omar Asal Naka illa Ramatin Alami. 30 seconds. Yeah? We have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy of all mankind. Give him three minutes. You understand? Yeah. So, we are Inclusion. invited to Islam. I pray to Allah that one day they will read the Quran and come yeah, and accept yeah, yeah. Islam. These are the things. You they still, come here. You still got a minute left. I right? tell them, read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation and the Quran and you can debate uh, with me. Point, when you see them on YouTube, Jay Smith, Hartoon, Biff, Godwin, and my friend Daniel here, it's always attack, attack, attack. They can't even defend. These are the things. Violence in the Bible, I've caught it. But the man accept that. Yeah, 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 we accept the Old Testament. It's the word of God. God killing innocent children. You accept that. But we tell you the Quran that's fighting there. But when the Muslims are fighting their enemies. Simple. He, he you are the problem with that. So he, you're, 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 he killed his own son. Stop the time. 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 So, so, so three minutes. So, so 45 okay. seconds left. No, we're going to carry on. Yeah, yeah. 45 seconds. No, we're rounding this is, up. This is your conclusion. conclusion. No, you did a conclusion already. This is your no, conclusion. No, no, no. I thought you did a conclusion. You did I didn't conclusion. do a conclusion. No, no I didn't. I'm going to do a conclusion there. If you want to finish my conclusion. No, no, no you still have it. You, 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 you did a conclusion. Okay, finish. No, you just said you did a conclusion. I didn't do it. I knew. We're we'll giving you three minutes no, no, and then no, I get three minutes. You did minutes. a conclusion. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. Okay. I you know what? I'll stop the time now. I'll reset it. He'll finish and then you can conclude. You're concluding. No, no. You finish your three minutes. No, no, no. Do your conclusion. You want to do conclusion. You still got 40 seconds left. Let me finish. Let him do conclusion and let me have a word with you. Let him do conclusion. Okay, hold the conclusion. Okay. Are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? He's coming. He's coming. Where are you going? Do your conclusion. You can do it. You don't want to do conclusion here. You're scared. That's why. I never did the conclusion. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. It's very funny. I'm going to do my conclusion and then we're going to go. It's very, very simple. I read Surah 9. I read Sahih al Bukhari. It's very clear. And then he talks about Jay Smith. He talks about, I never mentioned Jay Smith. The fact that he's mentioning him, he's got problems with it. I didn't mention it. I mentioned Surah 9 29, where it says, Fight those who don't believe in Allah. Surah 9 5. Fight the polytheists wherever you find them and kill them. It's very simple. But this guy has thrown Surah 9 under the bus. However, Sahih al Bukhari 4364 says Surah 9 was the last chapter to be revealed, which is the violent chapter against disbelievers as the final marching order to fight and subjugate people. That's Sahih al Bukhari 4364. You can go and check it out. I didn't make it up. However, in the Bible, that there is, we acknowledge that there is violence in the Bible. However, that violence is in the Old Testament where it has to do with a certain time for a certain period of people and not for us. Christians, we are commanded to love those who despitefully use us. You can read the whole of Matthew chapter 5. Mm. Those who persecute us, pray for them. That's what my Bible says. It says, love them. Jesus' last commandment was, if you obey, if you love me, he said, you will obey my commands. And his commandments in Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 to 39 is, love your God. In the same way, love your God, sorry, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. And then love your neighbor to the same degree as you love yourself. Every law hangs on these two, he said. On what? Love. However, the Quran hangs on fighting, killing people, come to know Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with violence. Muhammad was a violent man, a warlord. If you read Ibn Isham, his biography, he killed 600 Jews in one afternoon because they did not believe in Allah. But Mah Jesus Christ, he came, died on the cross for you Muslims and for me, for all humanity. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you want everlasting life, come to Jesus yes. and do not go follow Muhammad. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. 
find Jesus Christ and move from the darkness of Islam. God bless you.